how to make a funnel. Okay, let's first by start cutting this out. I like to cut right about here, we'll say. Boom. That's the only place where I'm going to be very specific. I want to split this black line right there. Boom. Continue along. Now, I'm not going to worry about talking about this. It's an interesting Oh, look at me getting so excited. I didn't do the first step. Where's my tool? Here's my tool. If you don't use the tool, you are a tool. Okay, there we are. Oh, how foolish of me. But that's okay. Don't mind showing a little bit of stupidity and how to overcome it. get back to this. Now that I've almost cut all the way across here, continue along. Snip, 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 and now I come back in this direction. Now you notice I didn't cut across this bottom because, well, you technically don't need to, because these little candy corn looking things fold underneath the funnel. And all it does is make a little bit more uh, paper for taping it to the bottom of the funnel, as you'll see. Okay, let's get rid of all the hanging chads. Too much. I've done that with students' work before. And this is probably easiest if you just fold them over like this. It'd be a lot easier if I had done it once before cutting. But when you don't do things intelligently, you usually give yourself just a little bit more work. Sometimes a lot more work. Okay. Let's get to the next item here. One ball. And right like that. Now I stay right on the line. This is where it's important to make it nice. Careful. Cut with your scissors. This is where precision is important. So we're going to go about there. Let's see, just a little bit of that. Snip. Okay, now let's fold before we do any cutting. Let's learn our lesson. Alright. There we go. Now come back here. Snip. 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 Okay, there's that set. Now we got to get this rolling. Boom. I can just fast forward this whole section so I can look like I'm Steve Austin, the six million dollar paper roller coaster maker. Creationist. Though I can't say that, Andrew Gap is the creator of this amazing and cool project. Okay, we were hanging chads. I didn't fold it over again. Man, I'm such an idiot sometimes, Peter. I know some people say, oh, how dare you talk to yourself that way? Well, just being honest. Being an idiot. Didn't say I was an idiot. Instead of being an idiot. Okay. Cut down the line. Right to that center dot. And then I go clockwise around. I'm going to leave a little bit of the that dotted area. Because as I've learned, you, the wider you make the hole, the sooner the marble drops down. Which means less time in the roller coaster. Which means less time. Watching fun! Okay, now let's get this cut out. I guess I can go this way on the outside. Probably would have been easier if I hadn't cut that, but oh well, I will endure. And this is where I try to be as accurate as possible going around this. I mean, accuracy counts for something in this world. Finally made it. Okay, so let's get this baby started. So, first step, we need to get this baby into a... So what I do is, again, I love this book, slide that underneath, gets out of the way, and I'm going to put glue stick on the shaded section. Because that means that this will now, and I line up my arrows, just like that, press... Okay, tape for the back. And I start from the hole and work my way up. Ooh, wrinkle in the tape. Ugh. 
a be awful. Okay, now, if we wanted this, this is going to be a right-hander coming in. And so we have it set up the correct way. Step down, again, there's that marble we're rolling in. It will always be stepping down. It won't be hitting that curb. So we're going to start sticking those on it. So we need the small pieces. My preload. And the piece of tape there. And one piece of tape at the end. Don't need it in the center there yet, you'll see. So I'll just do it right here, why not? So right there, stick. And then wrap this around. Stick. See how that's stuck? Now if I take another piece of tape. Those are both kind of you know, bending in a little. Tape on top. This is how, you know, you got to rub the tape in. If you want things to stick well, you got to... I use my thumbnail because it's my, well, my utility nail. Now, take a piece for the back of the funnel right here because this is what's underneath. And I want to... Whoops. Don't get that tape in the way. Put out. I want this black line right there to lay over the black line of the funnel. So, just like that, that looks good, stick, another piece of tape, right about there, oops, there we go, now, line that up, that looks pretty good, okay, there's our start. Now this will be the next one. Since this is going to be on the outside like that, again, step down, everything is always flowing in the proper direction. I'm going to place this on the back there like that. And then just that little bit of overlap is perfect. And I want to line up the crease, not the top edge, but the crease. It's pretty good, just like that. Stick it down. There's a little left over there. That's okay, because if you go like this, watch this. Make it look symmetrical. Oh, phooey. See, even it happens to a teacher. Let's put a new piece of tape there. Let's try this doing it again. Bring it in. Boom. Now I'll take a second piece like that. Take it in there like this. Push it down hard. And now, I'm gonna come back. Stick that little, stick this baby down right there. It's gonna hold in place. There we go. Then what you want to do is about every third or fourth one, you just keep working this around. I don't want to get that underneath, but I'm rolling it around the edge, and then I wish I didn't have this big piece like that. But you can see what I did. I just want to get that one candy corn. So they remind me of the candy corns. There we go. Much better. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There's my fourth one. Oh, I hate it when I do that. It's already perfect. Perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four. Stick. If you notice, I'm using my index finger in the hole to take in leverage to hold it in place, and I can roll it around. Stick. There we go. One last one at the end. Holding it. Stick. Okay, I'm going to come back and take those up eventually, but next step is to take our third piece here. And again, it's going like this. So, piece of tape for the back right there. Bring it up again. Stick. A little piece on the inside there. Boom. Okay, now, back side. That's working better with that finger. Okay, now before I do anything else, any more taping, I want to kind of get an idea of where this is headed to. And it looks, if I make a little mark, oh, there's a pencil I can use. If I make a little mark here, about there, you can see that mark. Well, that's where I'm going to cut this to, so I only need it to about right there. And then, if you see what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a little back cut. And now I'm going to slide this in here like this. We'll go around that piece of tape there. It should come on. Slide in. Slide in. There we are. Now, piece of tape. Hold that in place. Looks pretty good there. So, boom. Stick. Stick. 
So in some ways, this loop really is one of the harder things to make from the standpoint of time-wise. I mean, I've got more time invested in making this loop than, I mean, this funnel. I keep saying the wrong term. Sorry about that. I've got more time invested in this funnel than I do a loop. And the loops seem to be so hard. They have 30 cuts. Well, I didn't count how many cuts are here. So, there you go. This is when it's all taped up on the back. All the way around. Taped together. That little funnel flap. Where is my funnel 